We felt that it was a very pragmatic approach and it also established a framework to ease us out of the pandemic as it pertains to the eviction moratorium. Housing advocates praising state lawmakers' decision to pass a bill they say helps both tenants and landlords who've been financially hurting for the past year and a half. I thought Senator Stack did a phenomenal job at bringing both landlord advocates and tenant advocates together to forge a compromise. Uh, and that compromise is going to end up helping hundreds of thousands of people. Under the measure, the eviction moratorium will end on August 31st for renters with an annual household income that's 80% above the average in their county. But for those making under 80% of the median, the moratorium will be extended through December 31st. The bill also puts a pause on mortgage foreclosures through November 15th. When you couple that with the conversion of the debt to civil debt, uh, so any debt that was accrued between March of 2020 and August of 2021 gets converted to civil debt. For, so for the, for the tenants, that means that all that debt cannot be the basis for an eviction. Um, furthermore, the bill has $750 million in both rental assistance and utility assistance. And when you couple that with the $600 million that we've already received from the federal government, that's $1.1 billion in rental assistance. The president and CEO of the Housing and Community Development Network of New Jersey also applauding lawmakers, releasing a statement saying in part, this bill protects the people most impacted by the pandemic and puts New Jersey on a path towards building a thriving post-pandemic economy so that everyone can afford to call New Jersey home. But not everyone feels that way. It's difficult to imagine how several of my clients and the other housing providers who continue to reach out to the new Civil Liberties Alliance are going to be able to make ends meet through January. They're, they're behind on their mortgages, they're behind on their property taxes, and they have tenants who they've, they've, who've been behind on rent for 15 months now, and lots just see this as an invitation to continue to not pay regardless of need or circumstances. Although there are provisions to give landlords some financial help, litigation counsel Jared McLean says the process is still one-sided. We've had um, potential clients even reach out within the last week to say, I didn't win, I didn't win the landlord relief lottery and I'm going to have to sell my unit. And it, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking to see. And it's, it's also frustrating just because of the, the lack of means testing in any way. There's it's not that difficult to craft a bill that is only going to provide relief to those who can demonstrate their need and, and not allow any bad actors on the margins to take advantage of the law and hurt housing providers who are also struggling. It's not like they don't owe the rent and nothing in this bill would change that. Uh, uh, but but they, they just won't get put out in, into, that, uh, into homelessness and in, in a pandemic. Uh, for a little bit longer. And while advocates admit the bill isn't perfect, they're hoping it will bring New Jersey another step closer to finding common ground for those in need and those providing housing. The bill is now awaiting a signature from Governor Murphy. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.